Hi, right, I'll just show you how to um, thread um, this projector for um, for your um, home movies. It's pretty straightforward, this one. Again, just pop this on here. This one actually has a clip that you lock into the, the, the groove there. I don't know if you can see it. There's a clip there and it just goes into the one of the holes on the side and on the reel. Um, same with the front. So this is a nice secure one where some projectors you just push it on and that's it. With this one you actually lock it. So there we go, I'll show you. And then you line it up and there, it's locked. So that ain't going anywhere. There you go, it's a two track machine. So basically most Super 8 films have the sound on the main strip, which is one. Um, where some, like stereo films, they, they also record the sound on the balance strip but to be honest there's not that many stereo films around and the stereo is not that great um, what a lot of people use um, the balance 2 for is to add like commentary etc or sound effects um, so with this projector for most films you would just have it on one which is the main one which is pretty much most package movies um, or if you wanted to hear just your added commentary this comes with a microphone this projector so you can add commentary um, and if you want to play both tracks at the same time you put it in the middle there on one and two but say for most films you'll just have it on one which is the balanced track okay right so to thread it yeah see this here push that down there we go and then the main dial which is here you yeah, for a sound film, let's say you have it on the magnetic strip set in silent, just put it on silent. So it's on there, and then you turn it to forward. All right, so this one, you push it in there until you feel it bite. There we go. Come through the machine. And depending on how you film, and then, like I say, you put it, then put it on there, and away you go. And a little bit of Elvis. Alright. Yeah, so with this one, the film, if your film is curled exactly right, and then it will then catch automatically onto the, the um, take up reel. But most films don't. Um, and to be honest, I find it actually better if they don't. So I prefer it when the, the actual film comes out, I allow a few feet of it to come out, switch off, then manually attach it. I, I think it's, it's kinder on, on projectors, but some people prefer it when it catches automatically. Um, but yeah, that depends on, on the curl of your film. It has to be exactly right um, to catch to catch onto the take-up spool. Okay, and that's it. Okay. Now to rewind the projector, pretty straightforward, um, nothing unusual about the rewind on um, this particular model. Basically just thread it in there, again I'm trying to do it one handed, so there we go. And then, see the dial there, literally just go rewind, and away you go. <coughs> And that's all there is to it, to this one. This projector's got a nice fast rewind, so it doesn't take very long. And there we go. And it comes up the end, and... And off there. There we go. And that's it.